Ecuador, land of great natural beauty, home to 25,000 plant species, 1,600 bird species, and the renowned Galapagos Island. Ecuador is also home of 14 million people. Nearly 40% of them live in poverty. In some areas, poverty rate goes as much as 90%. And poverty in Ecuador and other developing nations is far worse than in America and other Western nations. The poor in Ecuador lack access to basic human needs, food, clothing, shelter, it doesn't have to be that way. Government destroys opportunity in Ecuador. Corruption and red tape prevent people from starting and owning businesses. One chance and hope for Ecuador's future is mining. Mining could create literally hundreds of thousands of jobs. World-class gold, silver, and copper deposits have recently been discovered in the poorest regions of Ecuador. Then the government shut down the mining industry for almost a year because of pressures from environmental activists from wealthy countries. These international environmental pressure groups set up local chapters aimed at destroying businesses, development, and job opportunities in the developing world. Take the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador, CONAIE, an extremist environmental group opposed to mining in Ecuador. En caso de que se apruebe esta ley, llamamos a una resistencia tenaz. CONAIE is known for being violent and vocal. They organize protests, block travel routes, and even kidnap people. Ironically, such tactics do not stop mining. They only stop larger mining firms with higher environmental and labor standards. That hurts workers and the environment. Informal workers, including women and children, remove rocks with their bare hands. They don't have protection against health hazards and dangerous chemicals. Seeing this, the government allowed large-scale mining to resume in March 2009. But will mining companies return to a politically volatile situation? Ecuador is a country with a vast human potential. Learn more of this issue on how environmental activists are trying to keep Ecuador poor at EcuadorMiningNews.com.